What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today you're going to see me in time-lapse format create a kit, a UI kit, a testimonials kit specifically for the Figma community section. Now, why would you wanna do this if you're like a freelance designer or something like that? I'm gonna show you exactly how you can benefit directly by creating these free resources within Figma. So as always, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably wanna be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. All right, so here I am, um, just starting off with the first card. So this is just gonna be a three combo approach where we have three cards, and the name of the game here is just to make a real simple, bare bones version of a testimonial card, essentially. Um, and as you can see, not much happened here. I am adding um, styles here so that people can easily change the colors and the color theme and also the type, type styles as well. And so now you'll see I'm duplicating this and I'm just gonna change something small about it. Uh, for instance, right here, I'm just adding watermark-based quotes around the actual testimonial. So that's one iteration that a person might prefer. So the idea is to take the base card and you replicate it and just change uh, different things. So for this third one, I'm just changing the placement of the person's avatar, uh, the fictional character given the quote. Um, here I decided to start doing um, large single quote sections. So sometimes if you've ever seen a landing page, you might see you know, just a, a, one section of the layout dedicated to a single quote, maybe by a prominent person. And so I'm doing the same thing here. I've already made three iterations and uh, I'm just experimenting with the layout um, of each of these. And there's so many possibilities, obviously. Um, and it's actually really fun. If you enjoy UI design, uh, it, it's a great challenge for you to try to think outside of the box to create uh, different layout iterations, essentially. Um, and so outside of it just being useful for other people who wanna quickly you know, go through a big list of potential layout opportunities for their project when it comes to these testimonial quotes, uh, it's also fun and it helps you develop your eye for building layouts. Um, yeah, so here I am kind of just creating one more iteration here. And I think I go back to the other version uh, where I'm listing out multiple uh, testimonials come up here in a second. So I kind of put, there's like eight right there alone. And yeah, here I am just kind of uh, looking for an asset, I think right here and continuing on just having fun. This time I decided to add uh, left and right buttons, like in, uh, in case there's like a carousel, you have multiple of them. People might prefer something like that. I decided to do um, an entirely different type of design for multiple listings here for the three column sections where we have actual large thumbnails. Again, many ways, a million different ways to lay out testimonials. And the more that you have, uh, the more successful your kit will be. And that's the whole point of this. So you want as many eyes as possible, as many people uh, using your kit as possible so that I, however you're trying to benefit from it, be it monetarily um, or just trying to get them to uh, perhaps hire you, because uh, it's not always designers using these, it's uh, other people, uh, it, it'll benefit you greatly. So here's the kit. Uh, we're no longer in the time-lapse format. Um, so I have just two sections uh, where we have individual large quotes Again, real simple version I started with here. So I had to change it up just slightly, the tiniest adjustment ever. Um, here's a more interesting approach where we have a, a two column approach or a three column approach really, uh, where we have the person's uh, picture here pretty large. And again, it's just playing around uh, with, with the layout very slightly on each one of these. And of course, you could check these all out on your own. You see all the, uh, different ways and different styles that we can apply uh, you know, these listings of fictional testimonials. 
And I did this all in a course of about an hour and two minutes. That was the original length of the uh, condensed version, the time lapse of creating all of this. Now also one thing I didn't show is you wanna have um, a cover page when you're gonna list it in the Figma community. So you just add a page, name it cover, and what I did is I took a screenshot of just four of those different layouts, and I, um, I first just uh, rotated it here in Figma. I used my screenshot tool just to kind of copy this, and then I, I put this into a desktop frame, and that's gonna be the main cover photo that will show up uh, in the Figma community se section when somebody types in something like testimonials. So I already published it, and the way you publish it, by the way, uh, oh, and by the way, I kind of added underneath it, th th this stuff is not in a frame. This is just the, the name of it. Um, and then this is this is the whole purpose of me making this for free. Uh, do you wanna learn UI, UX design interactively? Check out designcourse.com, coupon code FIGCOM for 25% off. And then I'll also mention my YouTube channel. That for me would be my uh, whole, the sole purpose of creating this, outside of just to help people with a free resource, uh, this is why you would create this, because you're gonna benefit from it directly. So for most people though, who don't have courses or anything to sell, you're probably going to direct them to your personal portfolio where they can hire you. Everybody using Figma, they're not all designers. Sometimes they're non-designers, that's why they're looking for these resources, and they might think to myself, this person's a great designer. Uh, maybe I, I can hire them, maybe I can hit them up somehow. So in the cover page, this is typically where you would put your personal portfolio website, you put your social media, try to make it as easy as possible for people to contact you. And I'm telling you, if you make enough of these, you're going to benefit eventually, especially if it becomes successful uh, and a lot of people start using it. So if I go to the Figma community section, um, let's go to community and I type in, cause it allows you to add tags, uh, testimonials, kit. All right, there's mine showing up first already and I already have uh, people uh, replicated it 16 times and this is what it looks like. Shows right there, want to learn UI UX design interactively. It becomes like an ad essentially in the Figma community section. Um, I guarantee you this is going to increase quite a bit after I release this video because people are going to, to use it. Um, and who knows, people might actually join my course, so I will benefit directly, monetarily from this. And again, if you're a UI designer or you're a freelancer or you're trying to get hired, you too will benefit if you create enough of these. T testimonials is just one of many, many components that you could create kits for. Uh, so there's many different things you could do. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. So this is a form of marketing. If you're a designer of some sort, uh, creating these kits and these free resources is just one of many different ways in which you can grow your business if you're a freelancer or, or pot potentially get hired from an actual agency. So as always, make sure to check out designcourse.com, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that crap, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.